and thank you for it. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everybody. And please, you may be seated. Let me again welcome every one of us into his presence. Welcome every one of us to the feet of Jesus. Welcome every one of us to this mountain of fat things. A feast of wine on the leaves. A feast of of wine on the leaves where refined, of fat things full of marrow. And the Lord shall destroy upon this mountain the face of the covenant cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. It shall be a mountain of lights. It will swallow up death and victory. The Lord will wipe away tears from off all faces. And the reproach of his people shall he take away from off all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. That's Isaiah 25 and verse 6 to 8. No one will return with tears on his face. This shall be to every one of us a mountain of divine solutions. Everyone appointed to death will be fully liberated. That my son is a medical doctor himself and they told him you have six months more to leave. If you go to Nigeria, nobody can guarantee your return. You shouldn't fly at all. He came here with that dilapidated heart condition. And 2030 now, shame on the devil. Everyone appointed to death will return liberated. If that looks like you, let me hear your loudest amen. When I say Shiloh 2018, you will say, I have dominion. Amen. And I say, I have dominion. Then you reply and said, I take dominion at Shiloh 2018. It's one thing to have it, it's another thing to take it. Everybody is returned with the rod of dominion in their hand. Shiloh 2018. I have dominion at Shiloh 2018. You know, he said you shall have whatsoever you say I take dominion at Shiloh 2018 I have it already given but I am now here to take it and I'm taking it back home whatever you take from here will live with you for life I saw a bore my sicknesses and carried my pains. Himself took my sicknesses and carried my pains. I saw it, did it, so I took it. And I took it July 79. And I'm still in command today. I have dominion over this body. This body responds to my authority. What I say to this body is what this body obeys. In the name of Jesus, 
whatever you truly take from this place will live with you for life. Just before we get into the world, the Lord asked me to offer this warning to everyone on Shiloh Ground and in all our various locations. Every prophetic gathering is a two-sided gathering. Behold, I lay before you life and death, blessings and curses. Choose life. That thou and thy seed may live. If you will hearken to my word, I'm observed to do what I tell you to do. I said to on high above all nations, and all these blessings will come to you. But if you will not hearken to me, verse 14, all these causes will follow. Please make a choice for his blessings at Shiloh. His causes can be costly. For anyone who might have been an agent of the devil sent here, this is a dangerous place. Please don't ever tamper with anything that is not yours. Don't. Just like whatever the Lord doeth is forever. Whatever causes the Lord inflict is forever. Don't try. The Lord told me to warn you. Please be warned and choose the blessing. The causes can be very costly. Choose the, you know, it's the opening night. There is no report from anywhere, but God told me to warn you. And I'm warning everybody in every location where we are gathered. Don't toy with causes. For the cause of the Lord is in the house of the thief. And you consume it all together. The stones, the wood, the earth. Nothing will remain. Don't try it. Thank you, Jesus. Eroding the dominion era of the church. Is what we are looking at tonight. Eroding the dominion era of the church. The first thing we're looking at is what is dominion? In our context, dominion can be defined as being in control of the affairs of life. That was God's mandate for the man that he made. Let us make man in our own image. After our own likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth. Over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And verse 28, and so the Lord made man. And God blessed them and said, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over everything that moveth upon the earth. What is dominion? Is having it always the way you want it. For I'm a man under authority, I say to this go, it goes, and to that comes, it comes. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 8 to 10. Speak the word only. He had it the way he wanted it. And the servant was made whole that same same hour. Having it the way you want it, always, that's dominion. What is dominion? Number three, 
is being in command in one's field of endeavor. Being in command in one's field of endeavor, and we saw that in the testimony of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego plus Daniel, they were ten times better than their colleagues. Daniel was referred above all other presidents in Babylon. Ben in command in one's field of endeavor. 